Hi everybody, welcome to True Wants, where here we try to help you make that decision if it's going to change from a want to a need. If you are new to my channel, I really hope you will choose to subscribe. It's free and it's easy. It's the red button that's right underneath this video. If you press it and it turns gray, you're in. It's that simple. There's also a bell that's beside that subscribe button and I recommend that you press it. It's called the notification bell and what ends up happening when you press it is you will start receiving from YouTube one email notifying you that I just uploaded a brand new video. You will see in your inbox the picture and the title of the video and if you press on the picture it acts like a shortcut and it takes you directly to the video. It's something I use and I enjoy and I always want to make sure to tell you guys about it because I do upload a lot and sometimes my videos are time sensitive and I just want to make sure that you guys don't miss out. All right. Also, if you already are subscribed to my channel, thank you so much. But you can always, if you never press that button, you can press it and then you'll start getting those emails as well. All right, today we are going through my second base box that is arrived. And uh, this is the card that came in it. It's a little bit different than the other card. It's, it has uh, more color to it, but it still uh, says sunshine on it. And that's what it looks like here. I'm so happy that we got cards in the box as well as uh, some pricing that I'm going to be able to share with you. Inside the base box, this is the $25 a month box. They're always red inside and that's the base box. I do get two base boxes on my channel and if you're new, I'll explain to you why. When I started my channel, where my year anniversary is coming up at the end of this month, July 31st, um, it, I have already was a subscriber to BoxyCharm for at least a year before I even thought of having a channel. And um, that, what I ended up doing was I had my account, I paid for the whole year, and then I upgraded to the Lux. What that means is during the Lux months, which are four times a year, for another $25, you get a bigger box that was supposed to also include the base box items. I started figuring out that the items that were in my Lux box they were completely different than what he was showing now at that time, what was gonna be in the base box. So because I had the channel, I wanted to make sure that if you didn't get the Lux, you still would be able to see the box that you know you would be getting on my channel. So when I spoke to BoxyCharm, they said the only way they do that is if you open up a second account, and that's what I did. The reason I kept the second account, because I was only gonna keep it up during the Lux months, I was gonna cancel, and because there's no pause with BoxyCharm, and that's one thing I risk for other people who, who like that feature, it is not a feature on BoxyCharm. So what ended up happening was I opened up the second account and then he started customization. So I kept the second box so that I'd be able to put the second customization charge, which was always more than the $25 that I was spending. And then anything that was duplicate in the boxes, they would end up in future giveaways. And that's what I'd been doing and that's been working out on the channel, so we kept it. This time I got very lucky. This is the second box and when I opened up I saw that the variation number was different but last of or one time before I don't think it was last month uh, I got a different variation but the only thing that was different in my box was my customization choice. This time everything else was completely different and I'm so excited because when I went on uh, the, um, the website to do some reviews I share that with you guys. I could not believe that all the uh, choices were available for review so I was able to share with you all the items that were going to possibly be in our boxes and there are so many good choices so I truly believe if you're getting the base box I think you're going to be happy uh, this month at least I am. I'm happy with the first box and the second box has an item that I was hoping was going to be uh, actually two of them that I was hoping was going to be in my box and they were so I'm really really excited about it as well. Okay so the choice that I made for this box was from uh, Clean Skin Club. It is a vitamin C brightening booster. It's a watermelon green tea apple. Really, really excited about this. I don't know anything about this company, but it sounded so intriguing to me. So this one here, I'm going to read you what's on the card. They're saying it is a vitamin C brightening booster. They're saying it's a powerful mix of pineapple, watermelon, and green tea extracts, and it came together to create the ultimate all-in-one serum. This vitamin C brightening booster brightens up the complexion for glowing skin and it will protect against UV damage and help reduce eventual signs of aging. And this is uh, $49.95, so a $50 value in a $25 box. And this was the customization choice and that's why I still get the second box. So I'm able to share with you uh, what those choices are. So it is a, um, a dropper uh, that you can take and put and it is great because uh, you're able to really use it properly so you don't over 
they use the product. This is what it looks like. It looks like a watery consistency. So when something, if you don't know the order of, of how to place skincare on your face, it always goes from the thinnest to the thickest. So essences are usually the thinnest, then, you know, you clean your face, you do your toner, but when you're starting with your serums, the essence in, in these type of boosters, if you're not using an essence, this would go first because this is definitely uh, a thinner consistency of usually a serum. So it's really, I think, the step before. So very excited about that. So that's my first item, very happy. The next item is from Studio Makeup. This is a brand that's new to me and, and we received an eyeshadow palette and I was pretty impressed uh, with that palette. So I'm excited to see a second item from their company in the box. This is a, a cream uh, eyeshadow and it says Endurance on it and it is in the color uh, SCS10 Gold, I think. And it says it's made in the USA on the bottom here. So what it says here, it says get both shimmer and shine with this cream eyeshadow. This is a lightweight decadent formula. It is perfect addition to your glow. Uh, apply a sheer layer for a soft and radiant daytime appearance or add a few layers for a dramatic evening glow. And this is a $25 value. And everything in this box is full size. That's why I'm not saying uh, that it's you know sample or full everything in a uh, boxy charm is always full size um this is going on very sheer i'm going to do one and then i'm going to do uh, a second over it to see if we can get it to be more vibrant um it's going on a little bit um of a wet consistency so if you have um hooded eyelids you're going to have to wait till this dries otherwise this will definitely transfer that's my opinion i haven't used the product yet but that's the feeling I'm getting just from swatching. All right, the next item that we got was the one I was excited about and I would have been happy. He had a blush palette uh, from this brand, Ace Beauté or uh, this one. I would have been happy with either or. If there's add-ons, uh, I'm probably gonna indulge in the uh, other one because every product that I have tried from Ace Beauté has blown me away. I got introduced to this brand through BoxyCharm and uh, I started with a scarlet eyeshadow palette and then I added on the uh, second one that was available at that time and I did that so now I have those two and then I got very lucky not the past couple of add-ons but the well, I think one of the original add-ons there were a couple of palettes from this brand for around nine dollars and I grabbed them I lost out uh, this uh, past one I tried and it was already gone. So everyone's kind of catching on that this brand is, is a really good one. So I'm happy others are being able to see how fantastic this brand is, is as well because I truly highly, highly recommend it. This is, uh, like I said, Ace Beauté. It is a bronzed in paradise palette. It is the bronzed in paradise bronzer palette uh, in addition to the much loved paradise collection Four bronzer shades are featured to provide a natural sun-kissed look. It can be layered on top of liquid cream or other powder complexion products. They're saying this is a $30 value. And his packaging, the packaging of this brand is just, just stunning. Uh, their graphics, everything about it is, I think, beautiful. And it has a, a not a, the, the closure is really good. And uh, there's a full mirror on the top here. And it did come with the safety shield, which I always recommend that you guys keep so that you don't have the transfer of the product onto the mirror. Those are what the four shades look like here. I think they are just, just stunning. And I, what I do, especially in the summertime, if you're just putting on a BB cream and you're running out the door, I always take a bronzer and I put it all over and then I'll use the bronzer as my eyeshadow. So if some of these colors look too deep for you, definitely uh, do what I do. Uh, I put these shadows uh, in my eyes and uh, on my eyelids and I've been enjoying. So I never get disappointed when we get a palette filled with different color uh, browns because these are always my go-to colors. And that's what the four uh, look like here and I'll just swatch it right above here and they're going on beautifully which is what I expected them to do so impressed with this brand they are really really truly pigmented uh, not a lot of fallout uh, if any uh, I'm totally totally impressed and a lot of times with finger swatches you can kind of tell if there's going to be fallout because you'll get excess on your hand and I didn't get any. So really, really excited to have received this. It was one of the products that I was so excited uh, that there was another product from this brand to try. And uh, again, I don't think I'll be disappointed. So really happy we received that. The next item is another brand that 
I got introduced to uh, from BoxyCharm and I, I, I follow her on Instagram. Her story is phenomenal. Uh, it's just a fantastic, fantastic brand. And the brand that I'm talking about is called Alamar. And I love that she has a relationship with him because I think she's out of Miami and I know he is too and now I'm in Florida. I am so, so impressed with this brand. There is not one product that I haven't tried that I have not absolutely loved from her. The only thing I have to get uh, is her bronzer palette. I've, I've tried a couple times and she's been sold out uh, on her own website. Um, and I haven't seen it ever in, in the BoxyCharm family, so maybe it's something they're going to be doing in the future. But her eyeshadow palette uh, blew me away was what, what I got introduced to. And then um, I use her uh, blushes. I use her lip products beyond beyond so this is her newest newest one and it's one of her newest launches and it's already sold out on her site so the fact that this is in our boxes I think is fantastic so this is the one called birthday suit lip gloss she had a matching lip liner to this also and it's the Alamar cosmetics is celebrating their two-year anniversary by wearing their birthday suit wink uh, a universal gorgeous pink diamond dipped uh, dripped gloss this is a $15 value I am so excited to open this I love 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 her products so this is what it looks like here like I'm telling you it's exciting when you fall in love with a brand that you didn't know anything about and I truly didn't until BoxyCharm and now every time she has a launch or something it's how I used to feel uh, with Colourpop this is how I feel about her brand I get so until Colourpop started coming out with so many launches I just I couldn't but with her she doesn't she really works really really hard on her formulas and then uh, she comes out with them this way here so I'm really really excited for her and I think this is fantastic and the fact that BoxyCharm has introduced me to this brand it leaves a special place for me with BoxyCharm so that's that item there and that's the one that I was hoping I was gonna get as well the last item here is from this brand called the cream shop and I am not familiar with this brand at all but I do watch another channel uh, she just changed her name to, um, and she also forgets her name, her new name too now. It used to be, uh, get this glowing, her name is Jeannie. Her new name, I think, is uh, un, un, Unfiltered 50, because she is totally unfiltered. But what I love about her channel, she has a giggle that is almost like an internal giggle. It gets me every time she starts talking about things, but she... Uh, wrote or, or mentioned that this is a drugstore brand and she was a little disappointed that BoxyCharm is starting to put drugstore brands in their products. I'm not familiar with this brand at all but I differed with her on that uh, simply because a lot of times there's drugstore brands when there's a new launch or something because in the trend mood box I got some drugstore brands and that's a really expensive box but I got introduced to some lines that that were being introduced and I liked it. It might be because I'm a Canadian girl now living in the United States and I'm now being introduced to more drugstore and I'm loving everything that I'm testing. But like I said, I'm not familiar with this brand at all. So I'm being introduced to it. The fact that it's going to be available for me in a drugstore I think is great. But what I do agree with her is that he represents this box to be a luxury box. And I think that's why some of the girls are really disappointed. But to me, I'm getting my value even with the first item in a $25 box is $50. So if he's able to introduce me also to drug drugstore items that are brands that I'm either familiar with or not familiar with, or it's a new launch, I'm okay with it. That's my opinion, but I know a lot, a lot of girls uh, agree with Jeannie and they do not want to see drugstore items in their BoxyCharm boxes. So just wanted to share that out there and hi to Jeannie. I love, love, love. And if you're not following her or you don't know about her, she is a lot of fun to take a look and, and find out uh, more about. So that's, uh, and it's unfiltered 50s. Okay, this here is from the Cream Shop. It is the Next Gen Blending Blender Set. It is a duo of uniquely cut sponges designed to apply and blend cosmetics to all areas of your face, including those hard to reach places a traditional brush or sponge can't get to. It easily apply and blend powder. It is a liquid foundation for a flawless complexion, and this is a $22 value. So once again, these are um, uh, sponges. I didn't like even try to open this uh, ahead of time, which usually I like to do because I always like put these stickies on here. I'll see if I can get it open fast enough so that I can show you. But 
you really don't know the, the a sponge can feel good right out of the package but until you wet it and it shouldn't be uh, too firm because I've had sponges that are too firm and I've had ones that were too soft but these um, these feel nice they feel more silicone -y, uh, and um, I like them to be a little bit more porous but it, it just depends you know um, it's a completely different feel to me than anything I've ever tried before so it'll be something unique to try this one has a round bottom it has that flat surface with the tip which I enjoy these so much like this uh, because you're able to get right under the eye uh, and I love when there's a round bottom this one here is more longer it has a small flat area here it has another flat area here and this long area here and a flat bottom here so they are two completely different sponges which is fantastic and we will be able to put them to the test and try them we will see how much they expand when they're wet but like I said this is you know the preference of the sponge is everybody I like it when it, you they get really large so it takes less time to put my product on and I also like a softer sponge versus a harder sponge but everyone has their preference so this feels like a completely different type of um, consistency of, of material than I felt before so excited to try and that's everything that I got in my BoxyCharm base box for July 2020 once again if I didn't mention it my variation for this one is 27 if you haven't seen my previous uh, video of the other base box is completely different I will definitely uh, see if I can link that down below I will try if not if you go underneath uh, my name where it says true once and you press on the name that's in bold letters true once right under the video it brings up a whole new page where you get to see all my videos that I've ever done and then if you're looking for something in particular let's say boxycharm there's a search bar you simply type in boxycharm and then it will filter and only show you all my boxycharm videos so that's a good way if you're new to my channel to catch up and see everything uh, that I've done in the past all right once again everybody I always appreciate appreciate so much that you take any time out of your day to choose to spend it with me here so thank you for that but most importantly and I always want to make sure to mention that is what is most important right now is that everyone continues to stay safe and stay well because health is number one this is all fun but if you don't have your health you can't enjoy all of this so everyone continue please to stay safe and stay well and I'll see you all in my next video bye bye for now